Another store-bought Gillette cream. Is it good? Let's find out. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian, coming to you from the Shave Den. It is July 4th weekend and we are celebrating our freedoms and independence this weekend. This uh, country was founded on freedom and independence and it is so awesome to celebrate that this weekend and hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I saw a cream, it just came out recently, I'm not sure when it came out, but I saw it, I've been seeing it at Target, at different mass uh, grocery stores, also drug stores, and I know Gillette had a cream that came out not too long ago called Gillette Pure, which I enjoyed, which was a mass market cream. It came in a tube. I've I've used it all, so I don't even have it anymore in my shave den. But it was a it was a pretty excellent cream. But I just noticed this on the shelf at Target. This is called the Planet Kind uh, Shave Cream. This thing on the on the uh, container says Kind to Skin and the Planet which I find pretty ironic since Gillette's been making these plastic cartridge razors and polluting the environment for years and they decided to come out with something to hopefully produce less pollution on our planet, which at least, at least they're doing it right now. At least they didn't keep doing their, going down their path of destruction to our environment. So at least they're recognizing that we do need to stop putting plastic in our landfills and in our oceans and all kinds of bad stuff out there into our environment. But anyway guys, nice to see this cream on the shelf. It is a cream that you can use with a brush or your your hands, your fingers, and decided to pick it up because I saw it. I've been wanting to try it out. They make this cream, they make a cartridge razor with some refills, and they also make a face wash and also a facial moisturizer. But sadly, I don't I don't see an aftershave they make they make for, with this line yet, so I almost pick up the moisturizer because it, I would assume that would that would be what you put on your face, but it's more of a lotion, so I didn't pick it up. I just picked this up, the cream. And the concept is everything that is made with this container is recyclable, as well as the facial wash and the moisturizer. The, the packaging is recyclable, and it's made with recyclable plastic and paper products. And supposedly the razor is also supposed to be recyclable, but before I get to that, there's a long process to, to get to that point, but before I get to that, let's go ahead and do the shave here. So I'll be using this cream. This will be my first review of this cream. And I got the ingredients right on the back right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll leave a picture up, but let me go ahead and wash my face, guys. I'll be using my trusted Mucure 34C razor. Just a mild shaver, just a great razor to use for reviews on this type of stuff. And I have it loaded up first juice with a Gillette Gold Blade. So this is my last blade out of the box. These were given to me from another wet shaver and so far I like them. They're pretty pretty smooth, sharp blade. I would probably put these on par with the, with the Astro Platinum Blades. Very, very similar shape experience with, with this blade compared to that blade. And probably very similar to the Voshkod Blades. Yeah, very close. And I actually do enjoy using this blade. It's a Gillette Gold Stainless Steel Blade. And I'm going to find these, hopefully, and pick more of these up and add them to my shaving because I love these blades. And the brush I'll be using is my Razor Rock BC Silver Tip Synthetic Brush. Great brush. I, I love this brush. This brush is perfect for creams. Nice and soft. A nice, generates a nice lather with creams. And I just enjoy using this brush. So guys, let me wash my face. Got about two and a half days worth of growth. So... Man, I am getting old. I got a little gray in my hair here, unfortunately. So that's the that's what happens when you, when you guys when you get when you guys get old, a little bit older, you start getting grays on your facial hair. But thank God I don't have it here here. Even though I do have a few grays here, but I'm starting to notice really more on my facial facial hair. But anyway, guys, let me wash my face. I just took a shower behind me, and I just want to say, go Lightning! We are only one game away from winning the Stanley Cup. The second Stanley Cup in the last two years. So they they're playing the 
Montreal Canadiens up in Montreal. They have one more game to play in Canada. And so far, it is just awesome to be living in Tampa, having a championship hockey team, a championship NFL team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and also a close, very, very close to a championship status, Tampa Bay Rays team that reached the World Series last year. Hopefully they can close it out this year, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, let me wash my face. Go Lightning. I'll be right back. All right, guys, back to my first pass. I'm going to put the cream out of this container right, right on the brush. Get the brush wet, it's ready to go, and the face washed again. And Phil to mention, this cream is in a five ounce container, and it's an aluminum container. Like I said, it's going to be fully recyclable. And the scent is pretty nice, pretty pleasant. I get that, I get like a mint, fresh, a citrusy scent from smelling this very very subtle not really not really too hot you know too strong or, or too harsh definitely a subtle fresh minty citrus type scent yeah definitely definitely nice and for this review I'm gonna judge this on four criteria which is the scent uh, latherability third will be the Slickness and the cushion and the fourth would be value. So four criteria I'm gonna be judging this on the cream to see how well it performs. But anyway, let's go ahead and try this out. And I just opened it up. How do you open it up again? Okay, so it screws off. And the packaging is not too bad. Just basic baby blue kind planet packaging. Like I said, everything's on the back, the ingredients, the information on the back. And let's take a quick, add a little bit on the brush here. So I'm going to do a, a little dollop right on the edge end of the brush. It's about an almond size. And just going to read the back. It just says you can use it with your fingers or with a brush. So it, it can be brushless too. But I'm going to use a brush because I, I love using the brush for wet shaving. All right, I'm trying to see what this is made at. This is actually a product, usually it tells you where it's made at, but it says that the only thing I see is, is um, Cincinnati, Ohio. So hopefully it was, this was made in USA, in Cincinnati, Ohio. But hopefully this will be great, a good experience. Let's try this out. So first, face lather right on the face. Yeah, so far the scent's coming out more. It is definitely fresh. And get out that out of the uh, gills right there. Yeah, fresh minty citrusy. Exactly, that's the way they describe this. The lather is great. I love the way it lathers. So I'll be kind of comparing this to the Gillette Pure Cream that they put out not too long ago, which I love. And that one has a different scent. That one has more of a masculine cologne type light scent, which is different from this cream. But look at that lather, decent lather. Yeah, not too bad for lather. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. We are, unfortunately, where I live in Florida, we are in the track of hurricane slash chuckle storm, chuckle depression, Elsa, so they don't know what it is. It just went over, I believe, Haiti right now. And it's just broken up a little bit. It was a hurricane. I think it was like a Rated in uh, Hurricane One, which is like below, I think around 75 miles per hour winds, and it came down when it went, when it went over the island of Haiti, and I believe the other, I'm not sure what other islands that were out there, but it went over that little patch, and it got broken up a little bit. So, so the only time I want to see Elsa in Florida is only at Disney World, not <laughs> as a hurricane <laughs> around here. So. 
So hopefully we'll be, we'll be safe. Hopefully, hopefully you guys will be safe if, it come, if it's coming toward you guys, wherever you guys are, are in the Panhandle or in other parts of the world or Panhandle, Georgia. No telling where it's going to go. So once it gets in the Gulf of Mexico, I, I believe it can. It might even go toward Texas or Louisiana. So I don't know where it's going to go. I don't think anybody knows really where, where this thing is heading to. So until they until it gets over Cuba. So anyway, guys, nice lather. Pretty impressed with the lather, really, of the cream. Let's do that first pass with the 34C razor and the Gillette Gold Blade, which is starting to be one of my favorite blades to use. Yeah, nice slickness. Not too bad. This is a new blade, so... So I'm expecting the shave to be effort, you know, effortless with the uh, blade, because it's a new blade being sharp and everything. But the cream is pretty slick, not too bad. So one side of my face is done, and that was pretty fairly fast for a shave. I tend to find that when the, when the cream or soap is slick, I get to my shave faster because I don't have to worry about cutting myself or worry about tugging or anything. Yeah. I'm loving the cream so far. Nice and slick. And scent strength is probably about a three, not too strong. So zero being no scent and 10 being the most scented, this is about a three on that scale. Very pleasant scent, by the way. And they advertised this being infused with vitamin E and, oh, what was the other thing they said? Infused with vitamin E and cucumber. So I do smell a little bit of cucumber right now, now that I mention it. And reading up on this cream, they say they don't, it doesn't contain any, no artificial, no parabens or SLS sulfates or dyes, which is good. Because a lot of these store-bought creams have a ton of ingredients in them, like maybe two paragraphs worth of ingredients, which stuff I don't even, I, don't, I can't even pronounce, just long words, chemicals, colors. And it's just nice to see a small basic ingredient list, which I'll leave right there so you can see it again. But I actually had to look up SLS sulfates. I didn't know what that really meant, but it turns out to be, it, it turns out to stand for sodium laureth sulfate, which turns out to be a, uh, it's a detergent and a surfactant, which helps with the latherability of a lot of creams. But unfortunately what it does, it also irritates your eyes, your skin, and it's just an irritant, it's a known irritant. And a lot of these store-bought creams have that in it. And it's just nice to see that Gillette has taken it out, has actually gone the natural route and tried to hopefully have this in their cream, Oh, you know, not have that in their cream. So, so kudos to Gillette for having a nice shave cream that's mostly all natural and great for your skin. And it's really great for sensitive skin like mine. And so far, a nice shave, nice and slick. The cushion was really, Definitely blown away by how well it performed the first pass. And the scent isn't, isn't too bad either. All right, guys, let me rinse my face. I'll do a quick three-pass shave, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back to my second pass here, my second face lather with the Gillette Cotton Cream. So pretty impressed with the first pass. Very similar to the Gillette Pure Cream that they put out also in their stores, 
I don't know if this is going to replace that eventually, but hopefully they keep both on the shelves because this stuff, both the, both the creams are excellent. All right. Yeah, plenty of lather left on the brush, so this stuff, this stuff is definitely a lather generator, this cream, so look at that lather. I can probably do about five shades of this lather, the amount I use on that brush. I only put like maybe a, a little dollop on the almond shaped, almond shaped amount on that brush, so, or amount. All right guys, let me go against, across the grain here. Yeah, nice and slick. And the cushion's definitely there. And one thing I noticed from the first pass, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't dissipate too also, which a lot of creams, store-bought creams do that. Especially the ones with the surfactant, that, that, that artificial SLS stuff that they, I mentioned earlier. I know they put that stuff in a lot of edge gel, you know, like a lot of those creams, you know, the, the gels where it sprays out of a bottle. But that stuff kind of dries up your skin, so it's not really good for you. So kudos for Gillette for putting out a, a wet shaver approved cream. Especially an all natural one like this. Yeah, I'm liking the slickness of this cream. Very nice. So anyway, I was reading about the I was reading about how Gillette would recycle the stuff, and they made a packaging on all these products, at least the cream and the face wash and the face moisturizer, they made it out of recyclable material with the intent that you would take it and recycle it again, you know, put it in a, in a recyclable bin wherever you live at, outside your house or your apartment, to be recycled again. But the razors are still cartridge razors, and the refills are still cartridge. And I believe the razor cartridge cover is not recyclable. But but going in more detail, they have a program called uh, Terra Recycle, where you actually send after you're done using the razor and the refills, you have to sign up for this program called Terra Terra Cycle. T R I'm sorry, T-E-R-R-C-Y-C-L-E. -E. You sign up, you send it to them, the refills, the, the cartridge refills, the, the handle. The handle is supposed to last you for, for a long time, so I think the concept is keeping the handle as long as you can and just sending the refills, but you send it in a bin or like in a patching to, to the to the terror recycle. You do have to pay for shipping, which is not a not ideal, not really good. And basically, they recycle it for you. They, they take out the plastic out of the, uh, the metal and they, they, they separate it and they recycle it. And you, you can also send your old razors too. Also your old cartridge razors, your refills to them and they'll take care of the rest and recycle it. Which is cool, I'm glad, they, I'm glad they're actually doing that. But I don't think a lot of people will, will be going to, to the trouble of sending that stuff to them. Because you do have to pay for shipping and do that. So I think people would just rather just put it into a recycle bin and put it outside their house on their curb, you know, right there on the curb and not have to worry about shipping it to anything. So, so in the meantime, this is the best way to go is using a separate double edge razor blade and also a double edge razor that you can keep putting refills in the blades because the blades, you can just put those in a recycle bin and just send them away. That's the easiest way to recycle. So this is the way to go using a double edge razor or if you really want to be frugal and save the environment using a straight razor. Anyway guys, that's my second pass. Not too bad, very, very nice. Very, very nice shave, very, s definitely slickness is there, the cushion is there. Let me rinse my face guys, and I'll be back for that last and final pass against the grain. All right guys, back for my final pass against the grain here. My final face lather. And so far so good. Loving the shape so far from this cream.
Let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this cream. If you guys used it yet, just leave a comment below. Let me know how you feel about this cream. How you feel about Gillette coming out with this, these type of products in their stores? I'm all for it. I'm definitely, definitely nice to see some wet shaving creams in brick and mortar stores around here. Because usually, like back in the day, you would have only have to order you can, you can only order creams or soaps online. But man, it's nice to see stuff in the stores nowadays. I think Gillette's kind of starting to re you know recognize that, acknowledge that they're you know that wet shaving is definitely here to stay. A lot of people are getting into using the traditional wet shaving methods, you know, with the safety razor, the straight razor. That's why you're seeing the the King C Gillette in the stores, the safety razor. You see like the Gillette. Uh, what's the other one they like, they just released on Amazon not too long ago? Oh, the Heritage razor. So. They released that, so now you're seeing like a lot of traditional wet shaving options from Gillette, which is really nice to see in stores. All right, guys, do that second, actually that third against the grain pass here with the, with this kind Gillette cream or Planet Kind. I was reading online that they actually had dermatologists test us out to make sure that the ingredients were were acceptable in line with their philosophy about being all natural and being good for the skin. So that's good. That's good that they actually did that before they released the cream. Like I said, a lot of these creams nowadays from stores, your drug stores. Your big box stores have a lot of harmful ingredients in the creams that aren't really necessary. They just put them in there just for cost and just to make a quick buck, you know, with convenience, uh, artificial ingredients to help lather, you know, help produce lather. And just refreshing to see something like this come out. All right, guys, let me go in underneath the gills here one more time with this Planet Kind cream. I'll probably end up trying the moisturizer and the face wash eventually to see how well it is. And I'll do a separate review on that later. But I want to try the cream first. But definitely slick. Yeah, scent is definitely not a strong virtue of this cream. Like I said, a three, I mean, it, it just stays close right here to your face. It doesn't really come out, project very much, so it's not very strong scented cream, but that's okay. I mean, I'm more concerned about the, the performance of the cream because, uh, you know, the, the aftershave is what really what you use to have a nice scent after you shave. But I mean, it's nice to have a good scent during your shave, but it's not always necessary though. All right, guys. Man, that was a nice, nice shave. No nicks, very slick. Pleasantly, pleasantly surprised about this cream. I'm, I'm really, really digging it. All right, guys, let me rinse, rinse my face and I'll be back for the post shave. All right, guys, back for the post shave. So the post shave I've been using is a Gillette Series Cool Wave After Shave Splash. I don't have the, uh, I don't think they make it yet, but they don't make a aftershave balm or splash for the Planet Kind yet. So this I'll have to do, this is still Gillette product. So let's use this on the face. And before I do that, the shave was pretty, pretty awesome. Nice shave, BBS, no nicks. Yeah, definitely, definitely a nice shave. And loving the cream so far, so definitely a nice cream. Let's put this on the face, the uh, Cool Wave here. No automite, I mean, there's no, What do you call that thing? The thing that goes right into the top of the aftershave. So you have to be really careful. You have to put your finger over that. Yeah. 
definitely nice. I love this scent. Nice, cool, aquatic. Uh, just, just a nice cologne scent. This stuff. This stuff is pretty awesome. I love this aftershave. One of the only only store bought aftershave, aftershaves I actually enjoy using is this Cool Wave. Just has that that has that just that cologne, masculine, just fresh scent to it. I just I just enjoy using it. But like I said. Wish they had the aftershave to go with this or the aftershave bomb. I would buy it if they did. But anyway, guys, pretty nice cream. So on a scale on my four criteria, so first one would be scent. I would give this about maybe a rating of just like it, just like the scent strength, probably about three on scent on scent. Not my favorite scent, but not not my Definitely not unpleasant, so right about a three out of ten. So right, you know, three or four, I would say about a three. Scent's okay, not too bad though. I would just say okay for the scent. It's 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 okay pleasant, but not one I would definitely remember, so or reach for all the time if I'm going for scent. So scent's okay, so number three on scent. And the lathability I would give it about a nine. Very excellent lathability. I was able to get a good shave from from my brush for all three passes. The you know with the grain across the grain and against the grain, and I actually had enough lather on the brush for maybe even like three more passes of it if I wanted to. So definitely a nice lather on the on the cream, as you can tell on camera. Nice lather. It was going everywhere. It's all over my shirt right here. And number three would be the the uh, gloss, the, the slickness and the performance or cushion. And I would give that about eight, eight or nine, probably about eight, just slightly below, above, below nine. Very slick, nice slick for a cream. Uh, definitely able to get the razor across without any problems. Uh, the razor just glided nicely. There's plenty of cushion, uh, plenty of protective properties to not nick the face, to get through a shave. I would give that about an eight. So definitely, definitely one of the better performing creams out there, especially the ones you can buy in the store. So I think I'm not sure what I gave for the Gillette Pures. It's probably the same performance-wise rating on that cream as as this. So definitely a great performing cream. And also value, this is $8 for a five ounce container. Pretty good value, I give it about a nine. So excellent value. You can't beat $8 for a, a, a five ounce tub of cream, especially one in like a little container like this. I actually like creams being in a container instead of like a actual tube. I don't know why. I just love the the store. Of this I love the I love the fact that the creams are actually in a container. That's my that's my preference. I don't, that's just the way I am. But anyway, guys, excellent shave. I use that cream. I used to also use my 34C with a Gillette Gold Blade uh, first use, and it produced a very pleasant shave. Very nice, efficient shave. I used the BC Silnot Silver Tip Synthetic Brush from, from Razor Rock. Just an excellent brush. And I followed up with the Gillette Cool Wave Aftershave. So, pleasant shave. Hope you guys enjoy your shaves. Hope you guys enjoy your 4th of July weekend. You guys stay safe, and I will see you guys later. You guys take care.